Hey, this is question 16. In this diagram, AB is parallel to CD. Get a key point. AB is parallel to CD. AB parallel to CD. Parallel means there is an arrow here. Representing here. Meaning that this two line will never meet ping sing xian. Next keyword, ECD is a triangle. That means this three lines connected, ECD is a triangle. The hint is inside total interior angles, C plus AD plus A equals to 180. I write down so that that helps me later on. So this is a hint. Next, the third one is hidden in the picture. Can you see in the picture itself, there are already angles there. So all these are hint, trying to giving you the answer. So I have 45 degree here, I have 80 degree here. So this number are going to help you. First, look at the values of A. Where is A? The A is here. So check, check the angles nearer to them, to A. So I have 45 and I also have 80. So can you still remember parallel lines? On the parallel lines, there has arrow, parallel lines. And there is a transversal crossing these two parallel lines. I will have an angle called alternate angles. This angle is the same as this angle, indicating a Z here. So I will say A is equals to 45 degree. Therefore, A is 45 here. Degree already shown here. So there is not a need to write degree. Degree is already here. Can you see? Next, let's look for B. Where is angle B? Angle B is here. Again, we make good use of the parallel lines, parallel lines, parallel lines, and there is a transversal cutting through these two parallel lines. It also means that I have a corresponding angle. This angle is the same from yellow to green here. So if there is 80 here, same applies to here because it's from yellow to green, from yellow to green. Therefore, B is equals to 80 degree. Degree already given here, so I only write 80 here. Next, go for C. Let's look at C. C is actually top here, but my angle are so far away. My 45 are here. My 80 are here, so very far away. So move this 45 and 80 nearer to C. So I know that my B here is 80, right? So this is already 80. And I also know that here is 45. Can you see? So, when two line crosses, in this case, the two lines are here. This line, I mark with maybe brown, this line and this line, when they crosses each other, this angle is actually the same as this angle. This is called vertical opposite angle. If this is 45 degree, therefore here, would be 45 as well. So if this is 45, then I can zoom in into this triangle, the triangle here. So in this triangle, I have my C here, the angle that I want to find. I have my 80 here, and I also have my 45 here. So it says in a triangle, all the total interior angles, C plus 80 plus 45 equals to 180. So I'm able to work out 
what is my C then? So I put this down. To find my C, I shift all my numbers to the right. I have plus shifting to the right become minus. And this one shifting to the right become minus 45 degree. Put into the calculator 180 minus 80 minus 45. I'm getting a number of 55 here, which is my angle C. You have to be very familiar with parallel lines, triangle, alternate angles, corresponding angles, and also vertically opposite angles. If you are not very hard, so that has to be in your mind. Thank you.